Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be so exciting. It is without a doubt the biggest makeup haul I have ever filmed. I have been stockpiling this stuff for about a month or so. Some of it is PR so it was sent to me and then um, some of it I purchased. It's just really this giant hodgepodge of stuff and I am so excited. I seriously woke up this morning and I was like I'm gonna film my haul because I got the last couple things that I was waiting for to come into the mail come in through the mail yesterday so I knew that I was gonna film it today and I'm so very excited it's gonna be a long one though so I wanted to get started off by showing you guys a um, ridiculous amount of lashes that I purchased at the drugstore these are individual lashes by Ardell and Kiss. I purchased some of the Ardell Double Individuals, several packs of the Ardell Individuals, and then another several packs of the Kiss Trio Lashes. I recently went on just like this Rob Sheppy craze and I stalked all his social media, watched a ton of videos on Rob Sheppy, and I also really love Patrick Ta, and they use individual lashes on their clients nine times out of ten. And I just love the effect that it gives. I love Rob Sheppy and Patrick Ty. I really like the way they do makeup. So I wanted to do individual lashes and I love the way they look. They are so customizable. They are so natural. You can really kind of create the effect that you want, natural or dramatic. You can also stick them on the lower lashes. They're just a lot of fun. I've really been liking them. So now we can get into the fun part all of the makeup. The first thing that I'm so excited to share with you guys is that ColourPop came out with lip glosses. These are called the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. They sent out this beautiful PR package. Um, <laughs> I'm missing one. It's fairy floss. I can't find it. I've been wearing it a lot. <laughs> but it has this gorgeous like pull-out drawer. There are three different finishes. There is a cream finish which is a really ultra pigmented gloss. It's pretty opaque but somewhat sheer and then there is a metallic finish and then a sheer finish. The sheer finish is my personal favorite. So there are 21 shades in this beautiful collection, only 20 in mine because I'm missing fairy floss, but that's just a really sheer beigey nude. Um, it's just, it's the kind of gloss that like looks good on top of a lot of different lip colors and I figured I should just swatch the whole collection for you guys. So I'm going to do that on my arm right now. So this next one I am so ultra excited about. I have been like holding myself back from using these because I wanted to swatch it for the first time on camera with you guys. And yeah, so let's just get into it. Bite Beauty came out with a new product called the Multi Stick. These are sticks that you can use on your eyes, lips, cheeks, skin, whatever you want to do with them. You can put them anywhere on your skin. Gorgeous shades. I think you could contour, bronze, blush, eyeshadow, do a little bit of highlighting with these. I just think that they are going to be really awesome. And what I was thinking about is doing a video using these exclusively on the face, like trying to do my entire look with the multi-stick aside from foundation and concealer, but you know, trying to contour, bronze, eyeshadow, do all of that stuff with the multi-sticks. Giorgio Armani came out with new eyeshadows. They're eye tints. These are kind of like a mousse eyeshadow. Um, I have three shades. This light one is Nude Smoke. This darker brown is Fur Smoke. And this shimmery one is Ashes to Ashes. So I will do a swatch for you guys. So this is Fur Smoke. Nude Smoke and Ashes to Ashes. That one is a shimmery. These are drying down to matte. Okay, so I was just swatching these on the back of my hand. That was my first time doing that. And honestly, the way that they're drying down is kind of reminding me of liquid lipsticks. And it's also reminding me, if you guys remember, back when Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen used to have a makeup line, they had these like squeezable tubes of moussey eyeshadow and you would just like put it on your finger and then just kind of like rub it all over your eyes. That is what these are reminding me of. They're kind of like a chicer version of those. So I'm definitely interested in trying these out. I'll try to do a tutorial with these for you guys if you'd be interested in that. I think I'll do just like fur, face full of first impressions makeup tutorials. But these are really great colors. And obviously they're colors that you're going to get a lot of wear out of. Because who doesn't wear neutrals? Everybody wears neutrals. Next up is one of my very favorite brands. NARS. I'm so excited. Um, I have 
a lot of stuff to show you guys. So I'm going to get started with the single shadows because um, I have never used NARS single shadows and I really wanted to try some. The little tiny baby NARS packaging is so cute. I just love tiny things. So well, let's get started with the shadows though. So the first one I got is the shade Fez. This is just an ultra rich like whiskey brown. Like it's so gorgeous and the pigmentation is insane. So there is Fez. Beautiful. Next one is Mekong and this one mm, it kind of has like plum pearl in it or something like that. And again, crazy pigmentation. These NARS shadows are amazing. So there's Mekong and you guys might be able to see that it's got kind of like this different shade of glitter going throughout it. I want to say it's like a little bit of a plum. Next is Night Star. And this one is a soft peachy beige with gold glitter in it. There is Night Star. And then the last one that I got that is, it makes my heart pitter patter because it's so beautiful. This is Malacca. And this is like the perfect gem toned duochrome amazingness of a shadow. I don't think the swatch is really going to show off the duochrome, but there's Malacca. And I can only imagine how amazing this would look on top of a base, like a black liner or something. And it's kind of like a green and blue and brown duochrome. It's amazing. And then look at it in the pan. Isn't that incredible? Like, that's just so gorgeous and I'm so excited to do a tutorial. I am so inspired by this shadow that I want to do a fall makeup tutorial based on it. It's beautiful. I can't wait to use these in tutorials for you guys. And then I have three of the lip pencils. So I originally really wanted the shade Bettina because a girl who I really love on Instagram, she's always wearing Bettina and then she finally shared on Snapchat that that's a lip color that she's always wearing and I had that in mind but I forgot that that was the name and then of course after the matter I had a note of it on my phone like of course but I didn't end up getting it but I will go get it. I also want to get more of the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I got three shades. This one is Bahama. This is a velvet matte lip pencil. The next one I got is Het Lu. This is a satin lip pencil and I love this. I think this is going to be so beautiful for that whole like brown monochromatic look that I'm really lusting over this fall. And then um, this one is in the shade Walkiri. Well, Walkiri. I don't know guys. Tell me out. But this one's also really beautiful. And this one is a velvet matte lip pencil as well. And I got two blushes. Yeah. Two. I got two blushes. Technically three because I bought one for you guys. But first I'm going to share these two shades so this one is in the shade madly and I just thought this looked like something that I would really like on a daily basis it's just kind of like a soft neutral toned flush you guys know I'm all about that it has a little bit of shimmer in it so I don't know I just thought this was really pretty I was intrigued by it and then this one is in the shade exhibit a and I cannot wait to show you guys this one how crazy is that it is a bright red but I think that this is gonna look so amazing and again I'm like super into this whole monochromatic makeup trend I think this might look so good with a red or an orangey lip so I'm definitely gonna play around with that and try this as the blush and then maybe like an orangey red lip and then maybe like a orangey brown smoky eye like a matte smoky eye I just think that this is like really exciting and beautiful so I was very excited about that and now I will share with you guys the blush that I bought for you. <laughs> this is one of my favorite blushes ever. I'm going to take it out of the packaging, but I won't remove the plastic or anything like that, just so I can show it on camera. I want to share my love of this blush with you guys. This is NARS Orgasm Blush. It has been regarded as, you know, one of the most universally flattering blush uh, colors, and it's just a really bright corally pink with a really strong golden shimmer to it and it just makes you look bright and alive and I think it's really beautiful. Some people really don't like it but I really love it and I can see how people wouldn't like it. If you have a lot of texture on the skin you might not really like an illuminating blush but I think it's very beautiful. I want to share my love of it with you guys. Like I said I got this for you so 
Don't worry, I didn't break your blush, but I want to share this with you guys. If you have never used a NARS blush or you really want to try out orgasm or just whatever, if you have never had a high-end blush or anything, I don't know, just whatever the circumstance is, leave me a comment down below. Let me know why you want this blush and I will mail it to you. I will write you a letter and a card and yeah, I'm going to send it to you. So I really like giving away products like one product versus a giant giveaway just because I would rather give seven different girls a lipstick than give seven lipsticks to one girl. Do you know what I mean? Like I want to share as much as possible with as many people as possible. So I got some goodies from Jouer, some PR and some just my stuff. So uh, the first thing was PR and this is... Guys, I am literally the biggest klutz in the entire world. Like, anybody who knows me in person, I always fall. I always get hurt. I'm always covered in bruises because I always trip over things. I'm just so klutzy. It's it's a hassle. The klutz, klutz, the klutz life is a hard one. So after I've just made that giant mess because it had this stuff in it, it's just like pfft, everywhere. Anywho, they released four new liquid lipsticks for fall. They call them, well, Jouer calls their liquid lipsticks the matte lip creams, and they are my favorite formulation of liquid lipstick. I think that they fade off the lips the most gracefully. I think that they have the best, most wearable uh, shade range, and I just think the formulation is the best out of any liquid lipstick ever, so I highly recommend the Jouer one. So, this is a brick brownish red in the shade brick, obviously, <laughs> and then this one is in the shade buff. It's kind of a peachy nude. And then this one is metallic. This is in the shade Snapdragon. It's kind of, I would think, like passion fruit purple maybe. And then the last one is a nude and this one is in Tawny Rose. So I'm sure this is going to be like a little bit of a rosy one. So um, if you have been on the hunt for a great liquid lipstick, try the Jouer Matte Lip Creams. Your life will be changed. They're the best, in my personal opinion. I really wanted to try their um, tinted moisturizers. They have two different formulations. They have the luminizing moisture tint and the matte moisture tint. I got the shades Glow and Bronze out of the luminizing moisture tint. And then from the matte moisture tint, I got the shades Beige Natural and Chamomile. I got four lip glosses and... The Jouer lip glosses are, again, some of my favorites. My favorite lip glosses ever are definitely always probably going to be the Buxom full-on lip polishes, but Jouer, probably my second favorite lip glosses ever. So, and I want to share with you guys my favorite Jouer lip gloss ever it is the Jouer lip gloss in the shade Nude. This is my second tube of this. I love this so much. <laughs> I don't know why I balled up my fist. I love that. And then I got the shade Oasis. This is again another nude. I got the shade Nude Glisten and I got the shade Ethereal. Okay, so then I got the um, eye crayons. Four, four shades. Four shades. I got this beautiful plummy purple and this is in the shade Renaissance. I got this really pretty olive green in the shade Venetian. This is a kind of like taupey antique gold in the shade Baroque. Uh, Baroque, I don't, Baroque, I don't know, it's French. Ro Rococo, it's like a really pretty soft gold shade. I'm also going to be trying out their eye primer. This is their long wearing brightening eye primer and then their lip balm, the essential lip enhancer. And this on the back actually says, loaded with clinically proven ingredients to increase the fullness of your lips while decreasing fine lines. For softer, fuller lips, apply three times daily for 29 days. I don't know if I can actually commit to that, but I'm gonna try. But I, how crazy would it be if this actually like made your lips look like you had gotten fillers or something? That'd be pretty crazy. And I really wanted to try their powder shadows and their cream shadows because I've never used any of Jouer's shadows. One of the cool things about Jouer products is they all interlock together. So you can really customize and create your own palette. So these are actually the tints, which I've talked about before. I got three of the tints. This one right here is in the shade Orchid, Amaryllis, and Whisper. Three cream shadows, suede, cashmere and chiffon. These are all uh, 
powder shadows. So I'm really excited about these because I've never even tried these. I have Espresso, Amaretto, and Almond. This would just be like even just a great everyday eye palette. Those three worked together as like a cute little eyeshadow trio. And then I have these. Pistachio, maple, and opal. How gorgeous are pistachio and maple? And again, this would be just like a really great trio, but I wanted to do like some fall look, so I'm trying to get some really like warm, earthy tones. Okay, now we can get started with Laura Mercier, and this is so exciting because I was sent the newest formulation of the new Laura Mercier foundation. This is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Soft Luminous Foundation. And this says, the twinkling of candles, the romance of nightfall. This lit from within foundation creates a soft candlelit glow at any time of the day with unique light reflecting pigments that mimic the effect of candlelight. Ooh. The lightest air whipped formula gives a, gives skin a double boost of hydration with refreshing waters that provide immediate and long lasting moisture. Amazing. To this eyeshadow palette. This is the Laura Mercier Caviar Inspired Edition Eye Art Palette. And I thought that this would be so gorgeous for fall makeup tutorials. <sighs> Can you even? Can you even? It's so beautiful and I've never used a Laura Mercier shadow so let's swatch oh yeah so pigmented I'm excited and then I also got the Laura Mercier highlighting powder in addiction this is like a dripping with gold highlight it's beautiful I love indiscretion so I'm so excited that I finally got my hands on addiction just look at that Obviously, I have like no primer or anything on my hand, so it's not gonna. But actually, yeah, it's. Just, look at my knuckles. They're like really <laughs> shining beautifully, so I'm very excited about that. Matchbox came out with a light version. <laughs> I was trying to talk about both of these at the same time, and then I was just kind of like, uh, where was I going? Smashbox came out with a light version of their photo finish, photo finish foundation primer. And I'm really excited because the original, although I love it, it can be heavier for people like me who don't like foundation primers that are too silicone -y. So I'm really excited to try this. I could do a first impressions for you guys. And then they also came out with a waterproof mascara, the waterproof full exposure. I love the full exposure mascara, but I always have to layer it with my waterproof mascara. And now they just came out with a waterproof version I love this. I'm so very excited. So, now we're going to get on with Marc Jacobs. I am so excited. I got the Marc Jacobs Genius Gel Foundation. I haven't used this. I just tried it on the back of my hand. This is the shade Golden Deep, so I'm really excited. And then I also have the shade um, Beige Deep. So I figure I mix these two. I'll be somewhere in between. Oh, this is really amazingly beautiful. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in... Tantric. How crazy. And then this whole opposite side of this is a mirror. It is like you wouldn't need any other mirror. Next is the Marc Jacobs. It's like a contour and highlight duo. And this one is in Mirage Filter. Uh, there's the contour shade and then this is like a yellow banana powder. I have not used this but I will run my fingers over it. It is ultra finely milled and just feel so like pillowy and slick and almost like it's one of those powders that you can rub between your fingers and it just feels like it's going to go for days and days and days you can just like continuously move your fingers through because it it's so ultra silky I'm so excited again I just love these fabulous huge mirrors they're going to be amazing for traveling with I got five glosses because you know your girl loves the glossy lips so I have this one in the shade allow me this one is in the shade Love Buzz. This one is in the shade Enamored. This one is in the shade, oh wait, no, it's not in the shade Enamored. It's in the shade Uproar. And then this one is in the shade French Tickler. And this is Forbidden Fruit. So Jaclyn Hill always raves about the Marc Jacobs glosses and how they make your lips look wet and glossy and glass-like. And I just, I love lip gloss so much. So there is really high potential that the Marc Jacobs glosses could become one of my new favorites. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try these. And I just love the packaging. It's like really luxe and I'm into it. I'm into it.
So this is a beautiful nude in the shade No Angel. And I just want to actually wear it right now. And I just love how luxe the Marc Jacobs packaging is. And this, again, just like the Bite ones, magnetic. So they're instantly just attracted to each other and always link up. So that's awesome. Mixed with my liquid lipstick, this lip color is like, I love it right now. Um, but all the girls on YouTube are always raving about the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, or what is it? Yeah, the Velvet Noir Mascara. So I am so excited to finally try this. It is not waterproof, so I will have to do a coat of waterproof um, underneath just to hold my curl. But yeah, it doesn't smell like anything, but I, <laughs> I smell everything, guys. But I'm really excited to try this. Again, first impressions worthy. And then this is the Marc Jacobs Feather Noir. So this is an ultra tiny mascara wand and it would be perfect for like really getting up into those lashes using it on your lower lashes I'm just kind of like uh, putting it on there a little bit but yeah I'm so excited to try the both of these um, and then I also got the Marc Jacobs this is the Marc Jacobs Brow Wow and this one is in the shade Ash Brown which I think let's see how thin it is <gasps> this is so tiny this is so tiny. It's going to be so perfect for making like really tiny strokes in the brows. I'm so excited about that. And then I think there's actually a little spoolie on the other end. I think that's really nice. I think brow pencils should always come with a spoolie. Otherwise, it's like, really? You're going to leave me without a spoolie? All right, guys. So that's everything that I wanted to share with you. I'm so excited to edit this and get this up for you guys. I can't wait to share all of these products and swatches with you guys. Be sure to leave comments down below. Let me know what you want to see first impressions of. Do you want to see reviews? Like I could review all the Laura Mercier products, review all the Marc Jacobs, the Bite Beauty and all that stuff. You guys just have to let me know. Let me know what eyeshadow products you were excited about seeing and what ones you want to see in tutorials for fall makeup. Just let me know. I'm so excited to use all of these products and give you guys back my feedback and opinions on them. And if you've used any of these, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you want that NARS blush, be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. And I will mail it to one of you guys. And yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to share all this stuff with you guys. I said that a million times, but yeah, so Hit me up in the comments down below. Come follow me on Snapchat. My Instagram and my Twitter are all going to be in the description box down below as well. I can't even speak anymore. I've been talking for like two hours, guys. So, yes, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye, guys.